Rutgers! Hi, I'm... What is going on up there? Rutgers! Hi, I'm Kim... No, no, that's it. That's it. I'm getting the broom out. Quiet down up there. Quiet down! Hey, 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 Rutgers! Why do you keep calling me Rutgers? Oh, it's because I'm in the basement! Oh, let's go it was September 19th, 2015, and Rutgers had just joined the Big Ten. They were playing Penn State in a night game at home, and a win would be a signature moment for the program. And they got out to a great start in this game. After a scoreless first quarter, Rutgers found themselves at the Penn State 14 and watched the run this quarterback does to get to the end zone. I was at this game, and let me tell you, the Rutgers Stadium went insane after that play. Confidence in the program had to be at an all-time high. Imagine a victory over Penn State in your first year in the Big Ten. The things that could do for your program. Think about recruiting. Think about team confidence. Think about having anything to hang your hat on other than Greg Schiano. And with Rutgers' confidence soaring, we're now going to look at all the other touchdowns the Scarlet Knights have scored against Penn State since this play. He dropped it. That, that should have been a touchdown. You probably thought that was going to be a touchdown, right? But he... <laughs> Rutgers. Rutgers did eventually score, so I feel contractually obligated to show it to you. There it is. Touchdown Rutgers. That can't be right. Give me that cue card. In football time, they went 268 minutes and 38 seconds between touchdowns. That's equivalent to... Carry the five. Almost four and a half hours. I could run a marathon in four and a half hours. I could finish a game of Monopoly in four and a half hours. I could watch the entire miniseries of Stephen King's The Stand in four and a half hours. Actually, that last one's a lie. But are you going to fact check me on it? No, because Wreckers. <laughs> Honestly, does anyone really want to break down this game? I mean, I could probably summarize it in like 15 seconds. McSorley missed a few throws that he usually made before he hurt his knee. Our wide receivers dropped a few passes and McSorley did have a good throw. Our defense played lights out. And Rutgers ruckered. Actually, there is one play I want to break down. This is Rutgers trying to set up a screen pass to the running back right here. But Penn State has it completely snuffed out. You can see the 1D tackle that they let go is already redded. Instead of rushing towards the quarterback, he's actually running towards the receiver. Parsons, the linebacker, is also right there to tackle him. And we even have a cornerback all the way back up here that read the play and is coming in. So at this point, a competent quarterback does one of two things. You either throw the ball right at the running back's feet, incomplete pass, you move on with your life. Or you just run outside a little bit and you throw the ball out of bounds. You'll be out of the pocket. As long as the ball goes past the line of scrimmage, it's not grounding. But, because it's Rutgers, and they can't have nice things, watch what happens. He throws it away, but he throws it right to a Penn State player. I mean, you can't get any worse than that. Oh, Rutgers. Okay, now with that out of the way, we're going to move on to Kenny's segment. Kenny, what do you have for us today? And what's the deal with New Jersey? I mean, the top half wants to be New York, the bottom half depends on degenerate gamblers, and I don't know how Princeton ends up with such a prestige reputation. They should just call the whole state New Princeton. Hello, Wreckers. I tell you, I've really gone and done it now, Jerry. That girl, Linda, the one you met the other night, well, she's taking classes down at university. She's struggling one, so I send an email to the professor and I say, Hey, can you just let this one slide? Just 
Just let her pass this one class, it'd mean the world to me. Well, instead of just giving her the passing grade, he goes and makes a big spectacle of it. And now it's getting back to my boss. So I meet with him and I say, was that wrong? Should I not have done that? Because if anyone had told me when I started here that that kind of thing was frowned upon, you know, I would have never done it. Well, what did your boss say? Jerry, I think I'm going to get fired. And to think, I was going to call you New Princeton. All right, I'm going to stop you right there, Kenny. That was all over the place. I mean, I think Rutgers was supposed to be based off of George, but he had the mannerisms of Kramer. And did you welcome him like it was Newman? I mean, let's, let's, let's try this again. No, Kenny, that one's not right either. Rutgers isn't somebody you want to kill. Well, unless you want to put them out of their misery. Think more lighthearted. Like, when Rutgers does something, we're not ashamed or mad. We just go, that's our Rutgers. Hell, maybe Rutgers even has some sort of a catchphrase that they say when they screw up. Something like... our show for this week. I'm Kevin. Yeah, the Rutgers show doesn't deserve a punchline.